Tyreek's other spot uh, in Kansas City. So much conversation about the fact that Tyreek's not there and the, the offense will take a step back. But we're seeing all these kids like uh, Justin Watson. We're seeing uh, Sky Moore. We're also seeing MVS and Juju. What are your, what's your assessment of, of the Chiefs offense going into this year, Jordan? Well, when, when they lost Tyreek or traded Tyreek, um, I, I, I kind of look at it through the lens of the quarterback. So as I'm talking to guys I work with and all that, we're, you know, re- responding and reacting to what happened, put yourself in Pat's shoes. And, you know, I feel like there's two, maybe three players in the NFL right now where they can literally score from anywhere on the field, right? Any type of throw, all of a sudden, poof, they could take it 80. Now, I, I, there's a lot of fast guys in the league. There's a lot of great runners. But I feel like it's Tyreek Hill. It's Jamar Chase, and when healthy, I think it's Alvin Kamara. Those are the three guys where you go, at any given moment, this guy can score. And so that's a, that's a small number, Rich. I don't know how you get rid of those guys, right? I don't know how you say, we'll replace that with, with what. So that was my initial reaction. But then you start kind of watching a little bit this offseason. You know, you, I, I kind of thought more about what Patrick is. And Pat, I think, is just a significantly more talented version of what Ben Roethlisberger was in his prime where Ben his had a different body type, different talent, different size, all that. But his ability to have guys on the outside run 14 yard curls and then he pump fakes them. And then they just take off in any direction they want. And, and so guys like Santonio Holmes, guys like Heinz Ward, these guys had great careers there. Um, but it was that second reaction. It was, it was after they run their route, then they just take off in another direction. And I feel like that's what Juju did in in Pittsburgh. I think that Patrick is now like the best guy in the league to do that with. And so I actually, uh, my initial reaction was, how are you going to replace Tyreek? And those names you just threw out, I wouldn't be surprised if if it looks on paper like they didn't miss Tyreek next year and Mm. that production is made up elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a combination of those guys. But, you know, Juju is a guy where I go, I could see him actually have a really big year because of what I just said. It's not how fast he is or how clean a routes he runs. It's that second reaction playmaking down the field. Pat's essentially building his game off of it right now. And he's the best in the league at, at doing that. And, and you could see this, this weekend, uh, the Chiefs stood out uh, as a team that had handled the first half of their preseason game in DC. Like, like it was the old school week three preseason. Like they, they, they were running their offense. It looked like to me a little bit. Jordan, right? Yeah, they, yeah, they did, and and I mean, Pat looked, you know, he looked great. Like he looked great. Yeah. Um, but I think they, you got to have, you got, you know, we got to have confidence at each position and all that stuff. But you got to have confidence as an offense. Like when that coordinator brings everybody up in the meeting room, like you got to be able to see this working really well before the season starts, right? You can have confidence in Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and these individual players, but you lost a big piece in Tyreek, and so. The entire collective group and staff needs to go, all right, I, I see really clearly how this goes. So I was not surprised that they got significant playing time in the preseason to just, as a, as a room, go ahead and take that step and go, all right, cool. Yeah, we're going to move forward.